Hello people, this is Snap, and today we are playing, I'm gonna switch it over, Two Point Hospital. <laughs> We're going to start a new game. Kind of played around with this a little bit to figure out what the heck I was doing. Uh, but yeah, let's play. Start a new game. At Two Point Hospital, over 52% of our patients believe they leave healthier than when they arrived. Our precisely calibrated equipment is operated by compassionate healthcare practitioners, many of whom have even been to medical school or watched ER. If you suffer from turtle head, let us ease your worries and noggin gently out of your body. Mmm. Just infection is no laughing matter. Put your trust and oversized shoes in our capable hands. We're building a brighter, safer future, and hardly anything will stand in our way. You deserve the best. So join us at Two Point Hospital. We're open for new staff, new patients, and a new you. Can I go play golf yet? I'm teeing off at three. No. You're fired. I <laughs> submit my British people, so I'm going to try to do a British accent. Actually, I know I can't do a British accent, so I'm just going to speak in my normal voice. Welcome to Two Point. Oh, it already went away. This is Hogsport, and here's your first hospital. Click on it to get started. Yes, Hogsport. The port where they import and export hogs. But first, we should name our foundation, which will be, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just put it as, a uh, health services for now, but I will look in the comments afterwards after this video and see what y'all suggest or I could put a poll poll would a poll would be easier I'll do a poll of course I'll need to get a lit get some good names to try it out but All right welcome to two point county are you ready to start building your first hospital and curing some patients first off you might want to learn how to look which is done with what's <laughs> odd First, we need a reception desk. <coughs> you rotate it like so. You see it right when you go and enter. We're going to need an assistant. So, uh, let's see, we got Cat Roadkill, Macy Quibble, and Isabel Rocket. This person's last name is Quibble. What does Quibble even mean? Uh, they all have customer service, but Isabel Rockin and Cat Roadkill have motivation as well. Um, let's see, what about you? Thinks their life is a rom-com, uh, hangry, and boring. Eh, charming, thinks their life is a rom-com. Funny cheese for brains. I think I'm gonna do Macy Quibble. We will service our reception desk. We're gonna build a general practitioner's office. And we're going to add that right there. Put the door right there. A window. Another window office desk, and you can... Right. So there's our little desk. Little filing cabinet right there. Put a plant... Plants. They're useful. Nice little plants. Put a, put, a, put, a, put, a, put a bin right there. Bins are also very useful. I don't think we need a fire extinguisher in here. It's just an office. And I believe we are good! Alright. There's our Doctor Whom. We need a doctor. So let's go and hire one. 
Let's see, you are a GP, you got general practice, you're high energy, um, you have motivation, emotional intelligence, and general practice, but you are grumpy, you have a short temper, and, oh, but you are a healer! So, you, uh, well, that, these actually balance out, becomes nasty when unhappy. Increases the health of patients. Always wanted to be an admiral. Well, you may not be an admiral, but you will be the general practitioner. And over here, we can actually monitor stuff. You're listening to Nigel Bickleworth. Shut up, Nigel Bickleworth. <laughs> On Two Point Radio. Welcome back to your favorite radio station with the vastly overqualified Sir Nigel Bickleworth. I'm here to inform, to entertain, and to bring some small measure of sophistication to your drab little oh, lives. Oh, Emily Gunn. Should any of you have any requests for popular tunes, as I believe people like to call them, do not hesitate to repress that impulse. I have no intention of playing any of that drivel. Oh, somebody's a snob. And I'll put a snack machine right there. And a pharmacy. Let's build the pharmacy over here. because we actually have machinery in this room. Put it right there by the plants. And uh, a bin. Bins are always useful. And yeah, that'll be good. We will need a nurse for this. Um, let's see, you're good at your bits of manner. Uh, let's go with this guy because he's good with farms and but he is he does upset people, so that's a price to pay. Oh well, then, that's uplifting. Let's see, snacks are over there, so drinks go over here. What is a uh, grout? Yeah, here's the endless list. Grout. Frequently transmission transmitted in bathrooms. Had to be painfully. Not very nice. Forward hospital reputation. Yay. There we go. We have a very basic little thing right here. How nice. Janitors and maintenance. So let's go and hire a janitor. This guy's very good at repairing. Plant two plants right there. That looks nice. Okay, we just need a leaflet stand. is apparently going to open another of its nature communes for sick people with more sense than money. Fortunately, I have equal amounts of sense and money.
there we go, that's decent. Register your body for compost donation today. Have the grass be greener from the other side. There we go. That looks nice. Okay, staff energy and breaks, and then item controls. We've unlocked the staff room, we're gonna need to put one of those. Staff room done. Uh, clamp. Once the script's a patient, it doesn't let go. Well then, that's a uh, thing. Charlie work. Build a toilet. Okay, I will build a toilet. We have a bin. No, uh, let's have a plant right there. And a bin. And a hand dryer right there. There we go. Now you can go poop. Further diagnosis, uh, general diagnosis has been unlocked. segment, Sir Nigel Reviews. Today I take a look at the new fine dining establishment, Les Souffles Tristes. And what a delight for the experienced palate this is. The scrambled emu eggs on pickled toast are particularly good. I give it four salt shakers. Four salt shakers. Yeah, okay. That's a valid rating, I, I suppose. A bunch of filing cabinets because that's something you have in a diagnosis room. And I think we are good for that room. Yeah, I'm so. Uh, yes, I'm. I'm. Uh, I apologize. We need to edit the toilets. But the, oh, okay. We'll have to move the toilets then. Uh. Boy. I 
items we'll have to get rid of this that toilet. Doctor required in GP's office. Alright. And now we can edit it and fix my mistake. doesn't like plants. Everybody likes plants. There we go, we have a new we have more new toilets. Uh, we're missing a toilet, but that's because there wasn't any room. Fire test. Please pretend there's a fire. Please pretend there's a fire. Oh, oh we need a nurse for that. Nurses! You're good at diagnosis. You're not that good, but oh. Well. Okay, we need to build another GP's office. Oh wait, wrong. Two point radio. Our reporter on the field, Sally Fig Blanket, has just returned with her camera crew from another field trip. As to what she was reporting on, I cannot say. Nobody tells me anything.
The new number one album from Jasmine Odyssey, featuring the hit singles "Nice Smelling Face." You got a nice smelling face. And Fish Whispers. Fish Whispers. Well, that's all I can hear. Salivation. The new number one album from Jasmine Odyssey is out now. This is Two Point Radio.
If ever you have found yourself at a loss as to the correct usage of the English language, you may enjoy my popular guide to good grammar. A public service I perform with no shortage of humility. I would do one to proper enunciation as well, but I fear your underdeveloped vocal abilities would make this quite impossible. thing right here. Yeah, this is curing a disease called lightheadedness. Because their head is a light bulb. <laughs> and here's the thing, like the way it is cured is they basically unscrew the light bulb. They just unscrew it. And then they 3D print it. So they really print you a new head. <laughs> There's other things such as just infection, which turns you into a clown, pan a pandemic, which puts a pan on your head. <laughs> it's a very, it's a very funny. Also, I like this design that I've gone with for this hospital. I like this design. I'm gonna add a plant right here because we, you all, you can't have enough plants. Let's be, let's be honest right there. You can. Yeah, but it's also because you know plants make people feel good. At least according to this game. make things green. Green is good. I have only one word to say to you today. Trousers, people. Trousers. They ought to be Ooh, worn at all times. All right, I will raise your salary until there's a smiley face. There's a smiley. Syndrome. Okay, you get a smiley face, you get $13,000. Um... You're happy with 6,600, apparently. Uh, and kudosh. But yeah, this is an odd way to cure disease. Unscrew the light bulb, 3D print new head. That works. Also, my hospital is now a one star. Item. Lightheaded posters in the light in the lightheadedness clinic. Maintenance announcement: Medical waste does not belong in the corridors. So let's just put these posters everywhere. It's the only decoration I have. All 
Alright, so now I need to cure 25 patients, earn $200,000, and get my hospital up to level 6. I was like, we could probably use more toilets, frankly. Oh, yearly awards, yay. Oh, I forgot I was recording. Oh. Uh, Zoom Eggman, yes, we got the Doctor of the Year award, that's nice. Are we going to get Nurse of the Year? Yes, we got Nurse of the Year as well. Let's see if we get Janitor of the Year. <laughs> we did not get Janitor of the Year. Do we get Assistant of the Year? Nope. Do we get employer of the year? That's the question. Yes, we got employer of the year. Do we get no deaths? Because nobody died. So we should get the no deaths award. Come on. Yes! No death! Do we get most prestigious hospital? Yes! Do we get Patient's, Cho Patient's Choice Award? <laughs> nope, Jumbo Megacorp got it. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. We got five awards out of eight. That's awesome. Okay, what was I doing? I was adding toilets. That's a good toilet. That's a good toilet room. It's a good restroom. Those are some weird looking toilets. The flush the the flusher is all the way up on the top. That's huh? freaking good to reach that. This all looks good. Benches. Oh no, he's gonna die. There goes our no deaths award. He's going to die. Treatment for lightheadedness headedness failed. Oh no, we got a ghost. Oh no 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 no. We need to freaking we need to hire a janitor with. Okay, you can you can, you can catch ghosts. We're hiring you. We're going to capture that ghost. Ghostbusters with a hand out of my fingers. Patient death, ghost staff promotion. Let's do this till you're happy. You're happy. Can we use another ward? Mm, this one can fit four people and it's not even full. Um, the fauna are reminded not to disturb the flora. Okay. I 
because we don't need to add any more rooms just yet. We can add more benches. Doctor GP's office. There we go. And let's add plant, plant. Leaflets. And a bin because bins are useful. Then let's add uh, actually there's a window there, so let's add more bins. So let's do that and that. Add more plants. And then put a nice little stitch snack machine right there. Get your uh Cheesy gubbins. I am an American, so the Britishness is lost on me. <laughs> Time for another sommelier over the rainbow. Today featuring a bottle of 2009 Pale Toad. This charmless Chardonnay is as insipid a wine as I've ever spat out. It has a foul nose hinting at leftover baked beans. As for the taste, well, I would rather lick an actual toad than drink another glass. Well, that's nasty. Pretty good nurse, let's hire you. Do we need anyone else? Toilets? We already have two bathrooms. We're good. Let's add another deluxe plant. You never know, it might come in handy. Tired of thinking for yourself? Hmm. Wish you could donate all your money. Aha! Join the Orb Foundation today. The orb is the perfect shape and the perfect solution. More two point, more often. This is nice. two point radio. Yes. 
looks good. Ish. Now let's add another window like right there. We'll make I'll we'll just make that a waiting area. Uh be a doctor. You are really good at Oh yeah, you You are a good doctor. We're gonna have you work in the deluxe clan. Staff promotion. That's good. Uh lightheadedness emergency, that's why we just built the other clinic. Nice timing. Items. There. Put a bench here. And here we can put a plant there. Recording. Almost an hour. Let's go for an hour. Patients are reminded not to be sick. I don't think that's how it works, announcer lady. <laughs> they look like they have a lot of bright ideas. <laughs> nice! And also just said they have light net lightheadedness. <laughs> Yeah, the person who named that disease had a bright idea. <laughs> On Two Point Radio, you're listening to Harrison Wolf, the lone voice of reason, <laughs> ready to spread some oh, truth man. to all our vigilant listeners. So open your eyes and your ears and get ready to find out what's really going on. But first, here are some people playing musical instruments. Uh... Maintenance announcement. Automated snack machines need restocking manually. Oh no, we have a ghost. Where's that gender that I hired just to deal with ghosts? Well, I mean, actually, you can't. There are janitors that are trained to build those. Yeah, they literally use a handheld vacuum. Basically. I mean, it works. It's a game mechanic. <laughs> Drain machine there. 
This looks like a nice hospital. Oh. Ooh, let's get our hospital value up to like a million bucks. person who doesn't like plants. <laughs> oh, wait. I've started exploring past lives. I've tried hypnotizing myself with pendulums and pocket watches, but I find listening to my own voice works best. I say one thing, and then another thing. And I say one thing, and then Another thing. It's possible you're now hypnotized too. I'm just placing plants in as many places I can. Yeah, big hands. <laughs> We're missing a doctor. Why can't Answers to doctor. Uh, where's our freaking janitor? You, Hannah Wiz. I need you to go and take care of the ghosts. And hey now, you capture those ghosts. You get ghosts whenever people die. Hmm. They scared him to get to death and then make more ghosts. That's how ghosts make babies. <laughs> Maintenance needed in general diagnosis. <laughs> Alright. Now we really just have to wait for we have 12 patients secured, we need to cure 30. We also need to earn 400,000 bucks. All that in order to uh, get this hospital up to three stars. And a special report. Yay, we handled the emergency. We now have a great reputation. Is that something? Yeah, we were curing people. Everything's going good. Okay, who? You're supposed to be at reception. You taking a break? This hospital is more waiting room than it is hospital. <laughs> Like seriously, look at this hospital. There is more waiting room than there is actual, you know, health care. <laughs> I get paid to announce, not to hear you complain. Now you do. Somehow just teleport their clothes on. That, I don't know if that's how it works. What's your disease? Oh, you're you're still being diagnosed. Another person, yay. Looks like the healthcare branch of the holistics company. We are more than halfway done with that trouble objective. Again. 
We just need to earn more elixir, money. The latest product, which claims to cure all ills, is in fact nothing but pine-scented prune juice. Well, I guess it should cure one ill at least. Good looking hospital, though, I must say. Oh, I can't. I can't escape the window. <laughs> That's a little mean. They can't help it that they got sick. Nice idea. Right outside of the uh, deluxe clinic, you ha we have lightheadedness posters. Oh, what's this? Staff promotion? Okay. There we go. We're making $488. Okay, that's our profit. Well, we're making $20,000, 20530 bucks, but we're spending 20000 Forty-two bucks. Need water. I understand that. I think I might have to go. Yeah, there's a finance tab. Prices. Okay. I'm just gonna try for a second raising everything by ten percent. See how that works. Health inspection. Okay. The health inspector's coming! The health inspector's coming! Yes, apparently a health inspector has to inspect a hospital. There we go, I think that's the health inspector. No, that's not the health inspector, that's just Magnus Crumble. Arriving in three, two, tomorrow. <laughs> Okay, so that person has uh, lightheadedness. And then I've come next. It'll be Ooh, that's Okay, so this is the health inspector. Henry Jobsworth. Uh yes. I think we're gonna do well. Okay, he's gonna start by visiting one of the pharmacies. You're listening to Harris. And somebody had to die. On two point radio. Right when the I went to the Cirque du Parfait recently. I was impressed by how experimental the acts were. I guess that guy I was so scared of the health inspector, he just, just kind of died. <laughs> Right. Hold up. Hannah Wiz! You might want to go uh, fix that. Hey, buddy. Okay, where'd that, where'd that ghost go? Capture a ghost. Alright. There we go. Ghost has been evacuated. Capture Ted Filament. That's a strange last name. Alright, now they're visiting the GP's office. Yeah, shut up. What? Oh, yeah! Yeah. I have not. Oh, 
Fillmore Graves. And now they're visiting the toilets. And they just get by the toilets that are like right there. Why would you eat off the toilet? But this isn't a vet. We don't have a vet clinic. Uh, the GP watches those. <laughs> I actually haven't seen a service animal in this game. Maintenance needed in staff room. He's checking the garbage can. It's a garbage can. And now he's in the ward. Hospital. It's actually on sale right now. It's only 10% off, but it's still on sale. Alright, the health inspector is leaving the hospital. Oh, great, we have another ghost. Anna! Guessing you don't have the credit card or anything? Well, you don't have to link it to your Steam account. I use PayPal. We're close to award season. Yay! Let's view. Let's see what awards we got this day. <laughs> Actually, that's not an award. We got Doctor of the Year, Nurse of the Year, Janitor of the Year, Assistant of the Year, Employer of the Year, No Desk, Most Prestigious Hospital, and Patient's Choice Award. Let's see, we've got Doctor of the Year. Uh, for Dr. Lester Punk, it looks like. <laughs> and... Nurse of the Year goes to... Miss Tiffany Custer. That's a plausible last name. Janitor of the Year goes to... Miss Janet Perrell. Now, Assistant of the Year goes to... Macy Quibble! <laughs> Good job, Quibble! Employer of the Year goes to... Hogsports! Which is the hospital I'm working on now. No deaths? Yeah, like, I'm gonna get that this year. That goes, that's going to go to Holistics. Yeah, that's one of the AI companies. Most prestigious hospital goes to... Oxford! And Patient's Choice Award goes to... Jumbo Megacorp. I'll be back. This crime of suddenly Terminator. Two Terminator Megatron. <laughs> On all subjects. Magnator. You decide what's true. And the health inspector is leaving the hospital. Lightheaded this emergency. I'll take that. Yeah. Yeah. The health inspector is leaving. Let's see what we get. Okay, inspection report. Mr. Jobsworth has sent us a report from his recent visit. It's 30 pages, so we haven't read it. Read it. But the conclusion reads, one of the county's better medical desti destinations. Destined to be a favorite of the sticky enthusiasts in the know. Well done. <laughs> okay, let's see. How I, okay, that's a quarter. That's also a quarter. That's a quarter. Okay, so all of these go into the big old quarter jar for my laundry. And then these two pennies go into that little mason jar. Oh, 
texting me. Hi, Mom! Uh, love you, too! No, my mom's checking on me. My sister has an apple watch. I don't have one. I don't trust myself. Eh, understandable. Understandable. I'm still recording. Um, okay, so we get 5,000 bucks from that. Mm. What, Mom? Having a good day? Yes, and I'm trying to do something. Please stop texting me. I didn't actually text her that, I just said yeah. Alright, so. So they can't figure out what's wrong with that guy, I think. Good later, Tater. <laughs> Bye. Just later, Tater. Who still says later, Tater? I don't think there's anything like this. Yes, I burped on camera. So. This guy's getting cured of lightheadedness. Let's see if this works properly. Looks like it's working. <laughs> no, you unscrew the light bulb head and then you 3D print them a new head and put it back on. I don't know. They probably die. And <laughs> you know they should have called. There's a there's a disease called pandemic, where there's a little literal pain on the guy's head. Yes, they should have named the clinic. They should have named the clinic the Pain Handler Lab or something like that. For the panhandling clinic. They should have named it that. Find your hobby. If you have any suggestions, please send them in. I'll keep you posted on how my search goes. Anything's better than my last hobby. Collecting traffic cones. Ah, he's going to go use the toilet while he has a light bulb for a head. Oh no, he was just using the bin. Seriously? Dr. Hayward, Sheriff's Office. Oh yes! Three star! You've unlocked the news agent. Which is basically a gift shop. So let's build that right there, and let's go hire an assistant. Right. Now we have a little shop. Uh, I don't, I don't know, I just unlocked it, but it's another way to make money, so... <laughs> this is a for-profit hospital. Alright, we have cured six. None of them have failed. We only have one person left to cure. In this emergency. And he's a VIP. Alfie Poodle! <laughs> Your last name is Poodle. I envy you. And also, they're letting the plants die.
Is nobody working there? Yeah, you're taking a break, so... I'm gonna have to put you back into, uh... You're gonna be on a break for about four more days, apparently. Three, two, uh, one. Okay, now you're going to go back to work. Working. Okay, you're going to give. You're going to cure this man of his lightheadedness, and you're going to like it. He's a VIP, and he deserves our utmost respect right now. Unscrew that light bulb from his head. We've already been running late too long. We're over an hour. Please go online to rate and review the hospital. We've cured a hundred patients. Nice. Alright, you're cured, sir. Alright. We cured six out of seven patients. Wait, well, we cured all seven. The 45th caller today will win tickets to the Rock Festival taking place next month. I admire a station manager's optimism. The most right. calls we've ever had in a day was six. To rise Let's and go shine, to everyone. And if you happen to be in Lower Bullocks this morning, watch out for the gathering of druids down at Rock Ben's Ring. Alright, we have unlocked the Lower Bullocks. The town will also be host to a psychology Sounds like convention bullets. today. Should it's actually all work out nicely. All right. Well, I think that is actually a good place to end it off for today, frankly. So, I'm actually going to move that up there because there's usually nothing up there. Ooh, there's actually uh, something we can unlock for our career. Oh yeah, collect that. And that. Anything else? No. Okay, we have collected. Okay, we've collected our kudosh. So now I can go up here and I can switch over to the camera scene and outro. Alright. This has been Two Point Hospital Episode 1, because I do plan on doing more episodes. You're all my favorite color team. <laughs> Alright, seriously though. So this has been episode one of Two Point Hospital. If you like this video and want to see more, hit subscribe. It'd be very much appreciated. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you don't like the video, hit the dislike button. I'm fine with either. If you want to say anything, hit the comments. And I'm going to do a poll for what to call our little uh, healthcare foundation. So yeah, you uh, have an awesome day, you banana. I'm gonna find the where's stop recording button. Stop recording button, right there. <sighs>